fighting for everybody freedom, then I gotta come home and listen to the very people I was fighting for cuss me out. Yeah. Like, I was like, I just wanna get away from it, yeah. you know? So it, it was kind of that. And for her, it just, she, her dream has always been four-sided brick home. All I ever wanted was a house with water. All right. So we established you were a stalker. <laughs> I'm watching there. me on the elliptical. I'm there. <laughs> on my Instagram. <laughs> um, and we established that she wanted a four sided brick mm -hmm. and a body of water somehow, somewhere. Yeah. Um, so I remember in 2018, you definitely hit, hit me up in the DM. And, you know, like I said, it wasn't right off the bat, like, hey, let's go looking at houses, but you had saw some stuff and kind of. Yeah. Wanted to start exploring. I think you you kind of saw some either online or something yeah, a, yeah. a particular property mm -hmm. that you're interested in, and um, then you ghosted me. You <laughs> 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 know, about as I was looking back at the DMs, you know, in, in preparation for it. So at that time, it was uh, so we're like 2018, heading towards 2019. And now you're starting to think more so like coming on full time, you know, oh, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, on, you know, a little bit more front facing the cameras. Yeah. So like a that. lot of, a lot of people don't know, um, is that I was always in the picture, right? Mm -hmm. I wasn't always a figment of his imagination. <laughs> <laughs> it was this Kurt. I think people started to think that because earlier on, um, I was still an executive in corporate America. Mm -hmm. And so I was very protective of that, mm -hmm. knowing how corporate works and, even though your personal life is supposed to be personal, right. somehow with social, social media, media, they always yeah. seem to find what you do and use that against you. Yeah. So that was the that was a setup at the time, and then, um, but he was you know watching, looking at the DMs. I was aware. Like he was I was aware, aware of what was going on with the business. I was aware. A lot of the times, then my role was like just do the contracts for him because while he's out there public facing, facing yeah. I was the one doing the paperwork behind the scenes. So I knew the names on paper, but I didn't know the names personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you ghosted me for <laughs> about five months. And then December, I think you were like, okay, I think we're ready to go. But there there's some something going yeah, on with family, family to this. There's stuff. So if you could, if you don't mind sharing, you don't have to give out names or anything like that. But oh, I'll um, give names. I don't care. <laughs> another drink. We'll do that yeah, anyway, right? I don't even need to drink. That. <laughs> I'll do it. But if you could share, um, you know, we'll talk a, a, again how I, it's funny because LA Fitness goes back into this story, but yeah. talk a little bit about, because again, it's behind the front door um, and there's a lot of shadiness. There's a lot of family referring, family and friends referring. So right. if you don't mind, share the, that experience that was coming up around that time period. You're going to need another hour. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so essentially we started working uh, together, as you know, um, during that process of us working, that's when our son, well, we already had one son in school and then we had the other one get ready to go. Okay. Both colleges hit us up at the same time for a nice sum of money. Mm. And that sum of money was pretty much what we had for the deposit. Right. <clears throat> so that's when I hit you up like, hey man, I'm, I'm gonna have to take a break. I gotta yeah. you know, yeah. build my bank back yeah. up, right. you know? Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, but um, so we go to our cousin house. It's probably a few weeks later at the cousin house, and they knew about our process of going. They even they knew about you guys. Well, definitely you, Mark. They yeah. knew, and it was like, hey, how's everything going? Mm -hmm. So I'm telling her like, well, we had to take a break, you know, do to this, do mm -hmm. to that. So um, <clears throat> that's when my cousin was like, well, hey, we the guy that got us this house, he did this and that for us for free, you know, basically no money down. And so I'm like, ah, well, I'm, I'm actually working with somebody. We straight. It's just I got to get my money back up. Was, no, trust me, work with him, you know, do this, do that. And then trust me, he's no money down on it. So I'm all, I'm thinking now, like, okay. I already used my VA loan. Yeah, like, like no money. Yeah, yeah, I had already used my VA yeah. loan and stuff. So, okay, I ain't gonna lie, no money down. Sounds good. Yeah. Right. She's right. the main one. If it sounds too good, honey, <laughs> it's, you know, it's I was just about individual. to say, whenever somebody leaves with trust, me, trust me, I right. already don't <laughs> trust on exactly. that's me. And that's me too. And I hate fast talkers, everything. Yeah. But again, man, my vision is get my family in this home, yeah. you know, by any means necessary. So I even told her, I say, hey, man, I say, if we get this house, I say, well, I'm going to hit the guy up that was working with us. I'll shoot him with him dollars for wasting his time, you know. But at the end of the day, it's about getting, getting yeah. you guys in the home. So we go through the process. Uh, it's a home here in Douglasville. Uh, they had it listed for like seven fifty, And I, would, I was telling him from get-go, I'm not paying seven fifty, you know. Without Alpharetta, Granada, right. or something, you might get me. Right. But Douglasville, at least at that time, right? At I was time. like, yeah, I was like, yeah. that was just too much, right. you know. So, 
no, hey, tell him this number. He then came back and was like, we don't have to worry about negotiating. And this person now, just for context, is this the realtor or is this the lender that is This is the realtor. This is the realtor. Yeah, this is the realtor. This is a referral. So I'm just call out because I'm Kurt and I'm just do that. The fact that you had already let this realtor know that you have representation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the fact that he still poached knowing mm -hmm. and he knew who I was and he knew he was a fan of us. Mm -hmm. Just That's by know, just by know who we were right. and following us. You're a fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're a fan. <laughs> so I the fact that. that he was a fan of ours, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And still, still do as you have representation unethical, right? and yeah. still post yeah. to get the business. Mm -hmm. That is unethical on every level when it comes to Georgia real estate law. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm glad that the outcome didn't work out in his favor. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so much didn't work out. Because again, with all of that, I'm telling him the numbers. He never told them the number. Uh, he, matter of fact, I say he, he did everything kind of illegally. Uh, no, no matter what I said I wanted, he didn't say. Mm. Uh, and to my understanding, once the deal didn't go through, he told them that he couldn't locate us. So that's why the deal was going down. Like, yeah, I can't find my client and everything. It was never, we fired him like two or three weeks before closing was even supposed to come because he was just steady shooting out numbers. Yeah. And he never held to anything. So it was, it was a lot of shadiness for sure. Yeah, and I remember, you know, you know, basically what happened is how LA Fitness goes back into the story is I probably was on the elliptical. <laughs> <laughs> Probably be assault, my tyrant. Yeah, no, no, I remember. Yeah, and but I, I remember like coming down to the. I did do a little weightlifting too. So yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> I was on the bench, you know, pressing yeah. a good five hundred. No, right, uh, right. No, and this guy comes up to me because I had never actually did like. Now, now we do Zoom consultations. Mm -hmm. We kind of get to see, but for you, it was always through DMs yeah, and yeah. texts and maybe stuff like that. So I didn't know who this guy was, and he comes up. Neither did Didi. But I'm going to approach you, you know. Right, right. I'm going to approach you. Right. So he comes with a bag of Arby's. No. <laughs> <laughs> he says, no. Um, no, he comes up, and he's like, Mark, right? And I was like, yeah. And he said, man, I, I have to tell you this story. I feel so bad about it. He's telling me, like, you know, you're going through the, about the earnest money, yeah. and losing that, and yeah. they might sue us. And it's all, you know, crazy. You know me, my personality. Yeah. Like, you know, if you would have hit him up, and the different Oh, I know he'd have cursed me out. <laughs> right. Yeah, he'd have cursed me out. <laughs> and Good. He did. Good. Good. Well, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. I know he cursed me out. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, actually, it's like, you know, that's how we kind of connected. And he's, you know, like my dream was still, you know, a uh, house on the lake and stuff like that. And I really want to do this for my wife and my kids. And this is something I've always wanted. So I come home and, you know, tell them about the, the story. <laughs> And let's just say, you know, we'd be bleeped yeah. <laughs> throughout this whole yeah. podcast because there's a lot of I like, think it was F this. I think it was something to the effect of F him. So, yeah. I, so I led with that. Yeah. Right. I led with that. F him. Um and then it was a whole lot of like, are you stupid or dumb? Yeah. There yeah. was a lot of that. Like yeah. he basically got you all hyped to go start a process, ghosted you for five months, and now because he ran into you coincidentally, because in my mind it was just a coincidence right, right, that y'all right. happened to be in the same place. So I go back to he didn't know what to say to you when he ran into you. Right. I didn't know the context of you right. really didn't even know what each other looked like. Right, right. So to me, I'm like, oh, he was just awkward. It was an mm -hmm. awkward encounter. Mm -hmm. He knew he had to say something, right. so he was trying to save right. face, and you fell for that. Yeah. Like really? Because yeah. I can't tell you how many times, like in this career of real estate, you know, people screw you over all yeah. the time. Yeah. They, you know, they say, "Oh, I'm going to work with you," and then you're looking on Instagram, they house looking at close with another <laughs> agent. It was like, so I was like, "No, there's something." And he's like, there's something "But like, wait, him. you're telling me he's going through a lawsuit, or losing, it doesn't have money, <laughs> you know, doesn't have because that's all I'm seeing. He's on a lawsuit on Lake House, right? Yeah, I'm sure he wants that. He's broke. I'm straight face with it. So I'm telling like, keep it so what part of what he told you got you to be like, yeah, I want to help you because. Everything you're telling me, I'm like, he's being sued. There's no money there. <laughs> he went with somebody else. He wasn't going to right. use us. Like, I'm using yeah, all, all of that. that. I'm like, Context what are you clues, telling yeah. me right now that I was supposed to be like, perfect yeah. for our candy. Look yeah. but, and so that was, that's that was what was happening behind the scenes from our perspective. Because like you said, in our industry, we get it all. All right. We've I had understand. people where we've got listing appointments and we're listing their house. And then 
we go back for the hey my photographer's coming out to film your you know to get the list ready or the the photos ready they the don't they don't even yeah. respond but the house is on the market with another agent oh wow so there's some shiesty stuff yeah, that's so many experience too but yeah. yeah um so we basically i put it i put you in touch with one of our good lender referrals yeah. with ameris and we we're trying to figure out is there a program because you had that house that you wanted to hold on to mm -hmm. and turn it into a rental mm -hmm. but um this is why relationships matter because if you remember uh mark uh, who was our yeah. lender at the yeah. time um he really he really cares and he was really looking yeah. for the program and he found a doctor's yeah. loan because DD was a doctor, and it, that was another no money down, yeah. like no PMI program. So all of a sudden, like it really started to become a reality. And then, of course, I put him through the pre-approval process, and that number came up yeah, pretty damn high. Yeah, I can't remember what it was, but it was it was pretty good because yeah, like it wasn't that two hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, yeah, we were going to get that. Yeah. Um, so now we're into two thousand nineteen, and we started looking for houses that have you know, on a lake and stuff. Yeah. And who would have thought you were talking about Florida, you're talking about all these places. Who knew that Douglasville, Georgia, yeah. it comes back to yeah. Douglasville, Georgia, <laughs> actually has like a lake with a non HOA type of community, which he was That's what looking wanted, for. Yeah. And so I sent it to you guys and the owner actually was a franchisee of Chick-fil-A yeah. at the time. <laughs> but the price point of the house, it's funny how different cycles of the market hit like where you can negotiate yeah. when you can when it becomes bidding wars we hit it just at the right yeah. time because the house was seventy five thousand dollars less right. that we got it for mm -hmm. nowadays you put an offer they say what are you thinking about <laughs> what offering seventy five thousand now in today's market and yeah. we've had this if somebody sends you or we sent a low ball offer they don't even respond with the counter and you just get ignored. So yes. where it's like you follow up like, hey, did you get my offer? Right. And they usually will say, yeah, it was so low, wasn't right. worth a response. Wow. So imagine just the shift in time yeah, right. when you guys did versus yeah. now. So this is 2019. We find it. We took, I took, I took you because you weren't really, you know, showing houses at the time because you still had that corporate job. And I, I just remember your guys' reaction. Like, this is like yeah. a real like dream setting, dream scenario. Yeah. Um, and we did get the house for 75,000. I look back just to look at like what it was listed for and what we yeah. got it for. And like almost all their closing costs paid for it too, which yeah. is crazy. But even before landing at the happy path or arriving yeah. at the happy destination, there was still another hiccup, like well, well, major yeah. hiccup. Major hiccup. So we're approaching closing. Like we had, it was a great, it was actually the, the agent was great to work with. The sellers were fixing some things from the mm -hmm. home inspection and stuff. Um, and now we're approaching closing. So here comes the dramatics. <laughs> what happened as we're about to close on this dream home that yeah. you guys, you guys had. Okay. So, <laughs> so here we are a few days into closing and, um, I don't know, like, bro, I'm on top of the world. You know, I'm on top of the world. Everything is great. I know that we're about to get this house and I fall ill. To this that we don't even know what it was, you know, we 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 credit it and say that maybe it was the kick. I was probably one of the first test dummies of COVID or something. That's what we say because yeah. this was 2019. 2019. COVID hit 2020. 2020. Yep. Because the doctors they they don't they to this day they still didn't know it was just like a yeah. shutdown of my kidneys. So one day I'm in the house, I'm yeah. chilling, I'm eating ramen noodles, you know, kind of chilling, you <laughs> yeah. know, like oh man, we for the ball up, you yeah. know, and. Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm kind of passing out, falling down steps. Uh, vital signs are extremely low. So low that when I got to the hospital, they was pretty much like, I have no clue how you still alive. No. You know, and this is days before we yes. supposed to go to closing. This is what probably, I think it started Friday. Mm -hmm. And I got in, uh, so I didn't want to go to the hospital. I'm a typical man, yeah. I'm bullheaded, yeah. you know. <clears throat> so my vitals are so low. Matter of fact, so it all started, my son just happened to be home. Mm. Just that he was in college. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy yeah. He just happened to be home this day. I have a routine that I like to do, you know, I like to do in the middle of the day of my retired life, I would chill, you know, like take a bath and kind of just yeah, entertain yeah, as I call yeah. it, chill. Well, this particular day, my son just happened to come in and say, hey, dad, I'm getting ready to leave. When he got ready to leave, I don't know where that, it was a shutdown or something and I just blacked out. Wow. I told him. That's, that's so it was like, thank God he was there wow. because he pulled me out. Yeah, he's the one, because he's looking at me like, 
what are you doing, man? Like, what's going <laughs> on? And I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So all I see is him looking at me, and I'm like, you're trying to drown me? You know, like, the type of thing. <laughs> like, you're trying to kill your daddy, bro? I'm like, so he, he's like, not, so I can tell the look in his his face, his demeanor. Right. Something happened. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but like, he Understand. would not leave the bathroom. And my son is like, he's not going to be in there when I'm in the bathroom. Now right. he's right. picking his hair and doing his right. yeah. yeah, right. it's finding a reason to stay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I knew something was wrong. So I wound up, um, I going down there and he had to help me out because I couldn't move. Yeah. Like I just got locked. So but he didn't want to help me because I was in the tub. By the way, you know, <laughs> my son is not about to touch yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, dad. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how he was like, hey, dad. I'm like, hey, man, I think I'm, I think I'm dying, bro. He's like, ugh. Get a towel. Get yeah, like, get your rope. I'm like, bro, get me out of here. So. Uh, but either way, he helped me. And when she came home, she took my vitals and stuff. And she's like, honey, you need to go to the hospital. I'm good. Just let me rest, yeah, you know. Yeah. So this is Friday. Saturday come. I'm very lightheaded throughout the day. I can't really move because my blood pressure is so low. Mm -hmm. I'm sliding down the steps because I was too scared to walk down the steps. Yeah. So I would slide down and I would crawl back up. So she said, like, honey, we got to get you to the hospital. Nah, just let me rest. Leave me alone. Right, you know what I'm saying? Just need to take a nap. Right. So by Sunday, she's like, hey, man, no, you're going to the hospital now. So I'm kind of like... All right, fool, you know, I'll go ahead and go. Oh, you were you. But yeah, like, yeah, I'll yeah. humor you by going because I didn't want to sit in the ER. Yeah, but either right. way, we go upstairs and um, I change over. And as I'm changing over, my son comes in and he's like, hey, I'm going to help you down the steps. I'm like, man, he ain't helping me. I ain't that old, you know. I'm, <laughs> I'm a Marine, baby. Yeah, I ain't been yeah. in combat. I don't throw hands on me. And as I snatch away and I go to step, I just black out. And I, so right, like, all like the, the steps down. you have here. Oh, my God. All the way down. Just, excuse me. And, and in that. I always say it's amazing because I, I didn't chip a tooth, I didn't get a concussion, I didn't I didn't even have a cut. Mm -hmm. The most I had was her screaming, you know. Yeah. Like, oh my god, oh my god, what is wrong with you? You know, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Yeah, like, like you yeah. putting on stunts and shows. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, he's being him again. Yeah, like I'm trying to do this. Like I'm, I'm literally laying there in a full scorpion, you know. Like I don't know what's going on, you know. But me, in typical fashion, no matter what, and even when I was in Afghanistan. We would have stuff going. I crack jokes. That's just how I deal with stuff, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm looking at my son like, man, did you push me? You know, you trying to kill your daddy again? So that's when she was like, no, you're going to the hospital. We get to the hospital. They take my vitals. Everything's so low. They're like, you're not going home. I'm like, I'm, I'm going home, bro. I'm finna yeah. close on the house next week. Hey. What are you talking about? They're like, no, sir, you're not going home. Mm. So that was kind of that process. I had to stay there a couple of days. It was complete kidney shut down. Kidney shut down. She would probably have to tell you the whole thing. Cause a lot. I'm you are, to you this day. Yeah, to this day, I'm still trying to figure. But I will say this: <laughs> for a man, so whatever was in me, yeah. I had to get what was called a catheter. Mm, oh, oh, well, we talked about that. <laughs> okay, so you know. Whatever's in you, it knocks it out. Oh. <laughs> I have never yelled that that loud, you know. But well, when, usually with a catheter, they usually put it in when you're under anesthesia, so that's you don't what know that it's in. But when they, for some reason, decide, okay, we gotta take the catheter out, they don't think like, oh, we gotta push you back on. They're like, no, yes. we're gonna take it out. You yes. it out. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I knew something was wrong uh, with the doctor because I never uh, had it. I uh, didn't. Uh, I, uh, I, I didn't. I should just say it fully. I think that's what she said. Foley. Foley. Yes, yeah, so I didn't know what yeah. Foley was. So I'm thinking, but, but she was like, we're going to have to do a Foley. I'm so, so sorry. So when she was saying she's sorry, I'm thinking, <laughs> why, would you, be, yeah, why yeah. would you be sorry for? Yeah. When the nurse came in and told me what she was going to do with it, I'm like, wait, what? You <laughs> <laughs> won't be sorry if you were going to see this. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, and then she tells me, try not to jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, so yeah, whatever, what, but after that process and whatever, you know, I started getting fluids in me. I don't know what it was, but it, it got me back to got you back. I remember getting that text. I think you texted me from the hospital, but mm -hmm. yeah. I think we're going to have to extend closing yeah. the so, yeah. so look, because yeah. I'm he in the hospital. Me, yeah. So he tells me, because again, I wasn't mm -hmm. directly involved with the transaction, but I'm aware of what's going on. So I've already been turned off to the whole situation yeah, exactly. based on how, you know, it, it was set up. And so when this incident, you know, happens. Of course, she's like, "Hey," um, he's like, "Unbelievable!" He's so like, "Like, yeah. hey, unbelievable!" So I'm looking at him like, well, "What are you about <laughs> to tell me?" He's like, trying to get out. I don't know what he's about to tell me. So I'm looking at him kind of like, "Cause this whole time I'm waiting for this deal to just fall apart." Right. He really did think the whole I'm waiting time for you to ghost us again. I'm waiting for it just to not happen. I understand. And so when he comes, like. Hey, it's, hey, I heard from you know Tyran, and I'm like, the guy that's buying the house, and he's like, yeah, it's not looking good. So now I'm like all ear because I'm waiting to say I told you so. <laughs> so I'm like, well, wait. you wouldn't believe it, but like he's in the hospital. I'm like, you won't fall for anything. <laughs> I'm like, 
They, I was like, so now he's in the hospital? Like, he was being sued? Like, <laughs> like what's next? Like, what are they going to tell you next right. that you're going to be like, I still want to help him? Because right. he was like, you, you really need to work on your heart, man. You are a heart. They don't know what's wrong with him. He yeah. was like, but you know, because like, I'm you're like, like is this going to close him? I'm like, look, at the end of the day, just let me know, is he closing or not? Like, I've heard enough he really about all like all made up. And so I'm thinking it's all made up. I'm thinking it's literally like, okay, whatever. He, he doesn't have the money. And now we're going to extend the closing while he tries to scramble. Because <laughs> yeah. we've had those stories. Because we, the thing about this, from our perspective, yeah. we deal with that more times than okay. now. Like sometimes people will be buying these homes think that they have the money to close. And as we get closer, they realize like, oh, the money where I thought I was going to pull from, it's not there. Yeah. Or, oh, now I got to try to figure it out. Yeah. And so for me, that's just how my mind goes. He like, thinks the worst. I think the yeah. worst before yeah. I get people. Because it's happened so much. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I become like, and, but Mark is funny because no matter what, and I think it's just how we're wired yeah. differently. Yeah. Sure. He always gives people the great take the first. best of people. Yeah. I'm always like, nah, you are a piece that's me. Uh, like, yeah, so you prove you, why man. you're not. That's what you are first, there right? You and yes. so when that situation happened, I remember I was so much like, you are dumb. Like, <laughs> he's in the hospital now. He ain't closing. Like, that was just a waste of all your time. And I'm yeah. telling him that. He said, honey, you know, <laughs> you gotta work on you. Now I'm getting the lesson. I gotta work on me. And I'm like, cold heart. And I'm like, no, what you need to do is make sure he won't cold. That's the need. So we go back and forth. And yeah, it's ironic cool. that um, obviously you closed. closed. And then it really, for me, you gave this amazing testimonial. And oh, I looked yes. at it the other day. You saw it? Yep. yep. And for me, it wasn't until I saw the testimonial. It was when you did it with the whole family. You were mm -hmm. outside on the front porch. And mm -hmm. I was like, Wow. Yeah. Like they really I didn't love you. I, <laughs> well, I didn't I did not realize the impact that we had made on oh, you yeah. guys yes. yeah. until the testimonial. So for right. me, you were just somebody buying the house that was just making us work harder <laughs> for no real valid reason. Right. 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 Correction. The effect I had on them because you were not a part of the stadium. If I was not on that elliptical, yeah. this yeah. would never have happened. Yeah. I, I'll be the first Point to taken. say. Yeah. I, I will say because that, that I was telling her. She so she was mad at me while I was in the hospital because I wasn't taking death serious. I'm a marine, yeah. man. Yeah. Death is just something. You I've seen, been around. You yeah. Seen, yeah. My job was to prepare to death. You know, pr prepare mm -hmm. to die since I was a kid. Wow. So it's not new to me. Yeah. So even when the doctor came in and was saying what he said, I'm like. Bro, I'm not finna. I close next week. Yeah. There's no way God brought me this far yeah, yeah. to from my dream home. I said I'm about to close next week. Yeah. Bro. I I don't know who told you I'm finna die. <laughs> but like, they literally, they like, yeah, she's over there like, honey, relax. No, I'm not finna relax. This dude just said I'm finna die. Yeah, and we finna, we got closing. So my whole thing, you know, while I was sitting there, like it, my my heart was to Mark, because I'm like, I gave this guy my word, yeah. man. Like, yeah. no, I'm not going yeah. back on a second time. He I'm, cannot stop. I'm so, I mean, I, and I knew that since then, right? Because yeah. we obviously have connected and, and stuff like that. And I knew that since then, but it really, it didn't really resonate and right. right. to the After. sense of the transaction. Yeah. Like it didn't, the whole deal was going on. Even when you closed on it, I still was like, okay, well, you got lucky with that one. <laughs> like, and it, it was not going to give me <laughs> I wasn't giving that grace because I was like, okay, you just have to get lucky. But it really, right. it wasn't until yeah. the testimonial and like seeing the family in it and like, oh, like yeah. we, you, <laughs> me by affiliation. Yeah. Um, no, like Grail's ATL really yeah. had an impact oh, that I didn't Absolutely. even think right. that we would. I didn't yeah, think it was that neat. Yeah. I thought it was like, you guys wanted a house, they didn't work out. You were quick to go to the next agent or the next agent, and it was just that. Because we had right, experienced right. that. Because that's what we experienced, so I'm glad. Yeah, I, I think for you guys, yeah, because you didn't know the back story to us of working with different yeah. people and yeah. getting screwed over by different yeah. Yeah. You knew of that guy. Yeah. But you, you, it was people that we even worked with. Like, we didn't get a warm and fuzzy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we didn't work with them mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. When I met Mark, like, it was all dead yeah. yeah. Like, when we're yeah. not, because, yeah. yeah. man, if I screw you over, I'm going to hey, man, I screwed you over. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Dude, the right. model is like, you know, because you always get that um, compliment a lot about being authentic. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and, and he really is. I'm going to just say, I am too. You are. <laughs> but I'm authentic in a more direct yeah. way. Yeah. Like me and you are the right. same. Right. Yeah. 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 I, I swear to God. I give you a little more grease. Yeah. yeah. He's going to be like. <laughs> but I think it's, right. I, it was it's because of my background. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, again, you're, you're more of the 
Connecticut yeah. suburban. Yeah. I'm more the inner city. What's your Yeah, what's I'm going to cuss you because I'm going to cuss you out to get my point across. Right. Like, it's, right. it's no disrespect. And I'm going to dislike you, but yeah, that's how, that's just how we talk. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, but a lot of people will say, like, oh, I like Mark because he, Kurt, <laughs> like, I'm I'm honest. Like, yeah. I'm never going to tell you a lie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and make you feel good about it. Like, and you're a piece of, I'm going to just say, Mark would be like, well, you know, you could really work on this. And you can work on <laughs> nah, like, you are a piece of... I, so I tell my wife all the time, I say, man, I love them. I say, Kurt reminds me so much yeah. of me. Yeah. He's an a-hole. <laughs> Just like me. We're only a-holes because we don't sugarcoat anything. Yeah. You understand? Like, hey, man, I don't have time to sit here and keep talking to you. It's stupid, all right? It's yeah. stupid. How can we fix it? That's like his demeanor. Yeah, and I, sure. I was telling, I was like, I love this guy. Remind me of him. Because right. you told me the story of like, I didn't think he was going to do it. I told yeah. him. You're like, and you probably would have said the same thing. Yeah, and I told you. I, yeah. like, I would have said the same thing yeah. because of how it looked. Yeah. yeah but, Let me ask you guys this though. So we had, you know, we had you on as we sort of, you know, wind down the conversation um, behind the front doors about really taking the behind the scenes look at, you know, people's lives, their journeys, their stories. And so, you know, with us, we're social media influencers, content creators, et cetera. And I think people feel like they know us from just the snippets of content that we put out, but right. you guys kind of know us in a different right. way. Um, what would you say, if any, if there's any difference, what would you say the social media personalities are versus what Mark and Kurt and Greta was ATL, what we're really like behind the scenes? If there's any difference at all in this spin token. I don't really see a big difference. So what I've seen posted, you as you all have been saying, you're very authentic. Like is one I think Mark and I are yes, we're more, more alike. alike. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you guys are more alike. That's why but I, it really uh, was right? like when you talk about family, it really did feel like that. Like when we were looking at homes, that was the first thing like I was taken to Mark because it was like we kind of like the same stuff. Like he knows, I felt like he knew what I was thinking about stuff before yeah. I actually did. It's it like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that family feel just, I think it's really legit. Like, I don't think it's something that you're oh, making up or something yeah. you're doing just for social media. It really does feel like you. family. Yeah. I yeah. still thought he's not like <laughs> still <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not a grow. Because for yeah. me, I, I've seen you guys, and in, in, in even I think we spoke at your party the other day, like, mm -hmm. the growth. Yeah. I've, I've seen the growth. Yeah. You know, I've seen where you guys were when we met and mm -hmm. even where you are now. And the thing of, that I love is there's no Hollywood. You know what I'm saying with you yeah. guys? There's no Hollywood. And I, 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 I love that because you're authentic. I tell all of my family, everybody, like, I, bro, I brag on y'all so much. I'm Thank like, you. oh, yeah, Mark and Curtis, if yeah. anybody need anything, I always say, if you get a home and you don't use them, I'm going to punch yeah. you in your face. You know, <laughs> because you want that authentic. And like I said, I've seen you guys grow, and I, I man, I love it. Not even that. just from that standpoint, like it is about if someone's trying to get home, but anything, if somebody's interested in real estate, anything, oh, yeah. he's like, oh, you got to meet Martin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop <laughs> volunteering. <laughs> them for stuff. Say, you don't know if they want to do that. Like, I don't know what I'm saying, man. No, I mean, Let we, them say no. We, we, we <laughs> genuinely appreciate that. Like I said, I think in, in the industry that we're in, it's very competitive. Yeah. It's sales. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of backstabbing too. A lot yeah. of shady a lot stuff. Of that. Yeah. And so when well, we, well, we come out and we have people that we work with, we've yeah. gotten them homes. And they still have that appreciation yeah. for us. Yeah. Uh, that means a lot because you know there's a, a real estate agent on every other corner, yeah. and, you know, trying to you know do a deal. Yeah. And the fact that we're able to sit down years after our deal, yeah, and still just have regular conversations over several days yeah. and have a good time. Oh. One thing we didn't mention though, because it's, it's, uh, even when we got the home, you guys came. Yeah, uh, we, we did. We brought your family. family. My my yeah, stepdad and my mom. Yep. The, yeah. So for you guys, I don't know what that was, but for us, that was monumental. Mm. Why? Because we always dreamed of this. Yes. And not only did we get it, but we walked in with much, much money in equity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was you guys doing. You know, I feel like crazy. Well, I'm, you know, definitely all day. <laughs> not having the good but I, I, I remember when you called and, and you said, hey, are you sitting down? I'm like, oh, man, come on, bro. But yeah, and you used to like, they accepted your number. Yes. And I remember I, I was tough on yeah. the phone. Like, yeah. All right, cool, yeah. And then, all right, bye. And I just broke to the floor and cried. <laughs> yeah, just, just like, like oh man. my, yeah, just like because it's, it's not only did they accept the number, but they accept the number we gave. Yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. you guys negotiated that. So to accept that number, and we walked in with equity, and 
we were able to get you guys to come out and enjoy the house with us, oh, even yeah. just for that few hours. Yeah. Like that was mine. Um, and <laughs> years later, we still sitting here. And, as a yeah, family. yeah so, and, it really and, has yeah, become right. a family. Uh, and you went from uh, St. Louis, East St. Louis, to having a chicken coop. <laughs> having a chicken you gotta coop. tell the people out okay. there about that. Now, now, in my defense, even though East St. Louis is kind of city ghetto, we still have country life: hogs, chickens, cattle. You know, stuff like that. People still have. Uh -huh. But for me, I never had that. So yeah, when we moved into the home. Uh, like I said, we purchased our home. He was a, uh, um, you know, owner of Chick Fil A. Chick -fil -A right. Yeah, so they had a chicken coop. I jokingly said, "Man, one day I'm gonna get some chickens." Her being from North Carolina, her family from the country. Yeah, right. She called her cousin, called and said, "Hey, I'm gonna bring you some chicken. <laughs> Do you want some chicken?" I'm thinking, "Yeah, I want some chicken. Yeah, yeah. I love chicken." Right. The food is what I'm thinking. Right. Not, the, not right. the bird. Fried or broiled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she knew what she was doing. Yeah. You know, she had been to the house. She saw the chicken coop. Yeah. So anyway, when she showed up, sure enough, she had a box. And as I come in, she wake me up that morning. She said, hey, your chicken's here. So get out the bed. Like, they go for the eat. Yeah. I come in, I use a little scratching, and I'm, what the hell is that? Like I said, it was like, open, it's chicks. I'm like, man, I don't want no chickens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so it needs to say we had chickens and I had to learn how to care for them and things like that. And, it, and the crazy thing about it is it, it probably became one of the best things I had because being retired, she go to work. My son probably sleep at 3 o'clock, you know, 3 yeah, p.m. So yeah. it's more than just me and the dog yeah, yeah. at the time. So as I started learning about chickens, it became a cool thing. So you are from growing up in the hood, in the inner city, <laughs> to having this goal this dream of being able to not only be a provider for your family but it sounds like wanting to provide what they wanted yeah. because the whole time i kept hearing like you wanted the three or so yeah, yeah you what you wanted became like i gotta get that but that's what she wants yeah. and so all of that and then you land in the lake house in douglasville georgia yeah. carriage house it has everything it has yeah. raising chick on the land yeah, no, <laughs> land none. yeah there with the fishing pool everything crazy. Yeah, yeah yeah we did that and, and to this day so since we moved in the house to this very day yeah i get up no matter what day it is i get up and i take the dog out and we walk the property Dude. yeah like every day I mean, still yeah. to this day we go out to the back why because i'm happy <laughs> it's like i was gonna say I'm has happy. the novelty worn off it, yes and no uh, we laugh about this. Yes, and I always get teary eyed. We talk about this, by the way, y'all. This is segment. But but has it wore off? Yes and no. Uh, the fact that the home and everything is still there. But one thing we knew, but we didn't calculate with the maintenance of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The maintenance. So, uh, but we we we've been able to adjust. And uh, one of the guys, he was there one day, and he he gave me the bill. I look at the bill, I'm like, God, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, gee. Let me get this to my doctor, wife. <laughs> I'm, kind of, I'm kind of looking like, I got to go in my bank account again, you yeah. know? But he said something, and it resonated with me still to this day. He said, Mr. Cosby, I know this is one heck of a bill. And once I, you know, he said it once I paid it. He said, but doesn't it feel good to have the money to pay yes. for yes. this big yeah. bill? You know, and that, that kind of sat, and I was like, you know, with big, with big stuff come big responsibility. So. Yeah. Yeah, but so I don't no regret. Regrets. No, no regrets. regrets. No regrets. No regrets. I put you when you look out at that beautiful lake every day yeah. and, you know, watch the dogs run around. No, I, well, yeah. I like. I regret every year fall. Oh, oh the, the leaves, leaves the fall. Leaves, right? <laughs> Outside of them leaves, with all the trees, <laughs> once they fall, like now, I still love But in the summer, I love our home because yeah. it's very colorful, it's very beautiful, it's, yeah. it's, it's everything. So, and I just wanted something when she came home from work. Which soon, no matter how bad the day was, when she pulled into the driveway, it was kind of like, yeah, it's yeah, like work. Sure. Yeah, it's kind of all work thing, you know. You got like the ultimate come up though, from like this is a random bum <laughs> asking to carry something, you know, for you to like the Arby's date. Yeah. yeah. So like, so look, so all the women out there that's talking about right. cheesecake, y'all yeah, hey. better give Arby's a play. <laughs> give, give Arby's a play. Of course, if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> Courthouse win. We had a courthouse win. Like, a life sometimes. Look, many years later, you yeah. two can end up in the lake house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can end up like that, man. You got to build it. Yeah. Um, you no, build but, it. but yeah. seriously, we, we yeah. have products too. We want to yeah. talk a little bit about like, so talk about what you're doing with the vets and yeah, what man. you do with your products. So I have a company that's called uh, Light Behind a Beard. So Light Behind a Beard is um is one of the companies that was started with one of my best friends. We were in the Marine Corps. Uh -huh. But of course, in the Marine Corps, we say we're bad brother. So I always say my brother. Uh, but we started it as a joke. Uh, we <clears throat> had beer products. Uh, 
just kind of did it because we liked it, yeah. you know. And then as other people started touching it, they liked it. Mm -hmm. And we grew into a business. So that's kind of what we have here. So uh, I told, like I told you guys earlier, I have products, but what are the odds I would come in without my own product? But I, we, we sell a lot. Been selling so, yeah, yeah, we sell a lot. So sometimes even when I see people like coming in now, I see someone at the store and they want, Hey man, what you got? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a website or? So yeah, so my website is lightbehindthebeard.co, C-O, not co. Oh, okay. And I wanted to at least bring you guys some braille. Oh, just uh, I don't know, sport around, it. wash the car. Absolutely. Know, but, yeah, but just something because we have <laughs> uh, beer products and we utilize that to, not just for us, but awesome. we like to do stuff in the community, man. We feed the homeless, we do, do things. We don't do it the Hollywood style for likes and stuff, but we like to do it to, you know, we fall for it. We do it because it matters, not yeah, because like, it's for the show of it. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's a lot of what for it. Um, yeah. a lot of what social media is about, the show of it all. Yeah. So uh, we appreciate your service, and I know you're doing a lot of stuff with the vets, and I think you're going to be doing your own podcast and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, so, uh, so see, this has been my boss here. Yeah. Uh, so this year I did want to kick back off my podcast. Yeah. I had what was called Beer Talk with a Vet. Okay. I started it, man. I didn't know what I was doing. I just yeah. went it on my phone, and then uh, my son's friends, my son, my twenty year old, my twenty some year old son, friends came in and was telling me, "We like your topics, you know, and you, yeah. you're like that uncle yeah. that we all need." Yeah, a yeah. twenty year old like your topic. Yeah, because look, my daughter's yeah. twenty, and I feel like if I said anything, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Of what she right. Likes, my so. kids don't listen to me. They don't yeah. listen to me on the podcast. They don't listen to me at home. You know what I'm saying? They be like, ah, oh, shut up. That's his dad. Right? Yeah, he's like, dad. But it's their friends. They'll hear the stuff that they, you know, I'll tell my kids or whatever. And they're like, dang, Mr. Cosby, you, you know, you're like that uncle we need. <laughs> you know? So, um, that's yeah, awesome. So, bitch, uh, I can't there. wait to check that check out. out. Yeah, I, I want, I'm learning from y'all, though. You know what I'm oh, saying? Y'all yeah, motivating me to do it. Yeah, we're motivating each other. I think it's about, like I said, it's about genuine relationships, just right. um, maintaining them. And, you know, I always say that we do get busy uh, with life and transactions. So, it's not a lack of love. And as far as like um, how often we do or don't get to hang out, it's right, just right. really like, I think just life, life happens. Yeah, it's life. Um, it's but life. clearly, it's all love because we're still sitting there. Yeah, so, yeah. Like the, um, I love it. Thank you guys. Yeah. Uh, One more question. Do you still oh. eat chicken? <laughs> I do. I do. Do those chickens look so at <laughs> No, I, well, well, I still eat chicken. And what's crazy is I feed my chickens watermelon. They love it. Really? <laughs> you got hood chicken? I got hood chicken. <laughs> That's a, I, once you start learning about farming and stuff, man, you learn so much. But yeah, they love food. So the chickens that you're raising, because mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about this. The chickens that you're raising, like, do you eat? Oh, no. That's not how that works? No. That's they're pets. They're pets. No. They're like, oh, no. Pets. no, that's that's country girl. I eat. <laughs> you eat all. Oh. You know how much money I spend on them chickens, yeah. man? That's what I was trying to figure out. So what's their use? Because everything's got to be a return on investment. Right. 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 Eggs, eggs and stuff. Eggs. Eggs. We get, eggs. So we get the egg. Now, I will say this. So one thing people don't know about chickens. Chickens are great exterminators. If you just let them roam around the house, they'll eat. Wait, not in the, in the house? house? Not, in not, the not in the house. house. Uh, I was like, <laughs> roam around. Are you around sure you're still black? Are you sure you're still black? <laughs> now, I have thought about letting the chicken no, in the house. No, but she, no. won't, you know, she won't let me. It's gone too far. Yeah, are yeah, they violent? Like, like, you can handle them like like Yeah, little, you, you can pick them up like anything. You're not, not are you attached to them, though? Not me. Like, you're you're the hustle girl. Right, I'm not I'm not attached to them to a point where I won't eat them. <laughs> they know their purpose. Oh, anytime they make me mad, I'm hey man, some hot grease and buffalo. Got I got ten, 10. now. 10. I started with four. Well, I started yeah, I started with four, right. and now I got ten. Now, do you buy more, or do you just say go in and have some fun and make some? I, I buy more. So I used to have a rooster, and obviously with a rooster, they will reproduce. Okay, I don't know if you did. They call them a cock for a reason. All right, <laughs> that's just all you need to know. They call him a cock for a reason. <laughs> Yeah, so it, uh, he's very protective of the eggs because yeah. he wants to reproduce. Huh? Gotcha. So when I had him, it was a problem. Like, yeah, every day was a problem. It was, and I would always say, it's only room for one cock on this floor. It's <laughs> <laughs> only room for one. So he had to go. Gotcha. Uh, but, so, but yeah, we eat yeah. the eggs. Uh, they produce. At, at 10 chickens, I get at least one egg a day, so it's 70 eggs a week. Really? Yeah. 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 And, and there's like regular eggs like that I would go. And yeah. Pack. Yeah. So the difference between the grocery store eggs and mine, obviously they're they're super fresh. But I know what I feed my my chickens. Mm. That's, so we gotta get yeah. some of those. Yeah, I, I would. I, I'll tell them. Yeah. You should. <laughs> like at bare minimum, you know, maybe one or two. You want the hens. You don't right. want the rooster. Right. You want the hens. I, I think he wanted the eggs. Yeah, I just want the <laughs> eggs. <laughs> I don't want the. Oh, you don't want the chicken. Crunchies are. Yeah, I should deal with it. I just want the eggs. 
<laughs> we got to bring some eggs there. Because yeah. we got to the point, I walk in like, I'm so sick of seeing eggs. Yeah. Really? Oh, and I love eggs. Yeah. Like, I eat them like. Say less. Like, oh, yeah. Say less. You're going to come home. She's like, oh, yeah. Have some <laughs> yeah, yeah, say right. less. We may just drop them up like milkman. We just drop them off on <laughs> yeah. the porch and Tyrell was here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but, uh, but this was a pretty uh, awesome, awesome story. I appreciate yeah, we you really that. appreciate you. We love you guys, and uh, you truly are family. We yeah, definitely yeah, are. I got I got half left of my. I, 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 I think I do. I don't. I don't think I caught up. But <laughs> cheers, right. guys. Cheers. So I have the front door. The front door. Love y'all. If you haven't already, make sure you set your notifications and subscribe to Behind the Front Door podcast. <laughs>